Hello and welcome to this painting tutorial video. Today I will explain to you my techniques and recipe for painting the green armor for one of my Shovel Knight board game miniature. I start with black green as a base color on top of the black primer. I apply the color by quickly dabbing it where the light hits the armor the most, while leaving shadow areas with black. I don't get hung up on doing a neat job. Then I work to push the paint in the direction of these areas of light. By moistening the round brush as the paint dries, I create a translucent texture, a glaze, which helps work on the color transition between black and black green. I use dark green to further brighten the black green. As I apply it over the whole armor, this green becomes my main color, taking over and pushing the black green into an intermediate color in the shadow areas. Next, using my fine brush, I apply the light green. First, I outline the areas of light focus with the concentrated color. Then, I dilute the light green in a glaze so that it is translucent and brush over my outline working from the outside in. I thus create a gradation between dark green and light green and accentuate the brightness at its center.
Once finished, I return with the black green in a glaze to rework the dark areas. To do this, I start from the intermediate areas pushing the black greens towards the shadows. I also tone down certain pieces of armor where I find the brightness too strong. Finally, I use black green in a stronger concentration to reinforce the dark values. Now with ivory, I outline the points of light. It's precision work that helps push the contrast of values. I chose ivory rather than white for the slight yellow tint, which blends well with the green of the arm. To finish, I use a glaze of light green, really well diluted, to create a filter over the ivory and help it blend better with the green. You could always come back with ivory, or even white, to accentuate the shine of the armor. In this case, I was satisfied and chose to leave it as it is. I hope you enjoyed my explanations. I invite you to send me your comments and ideas for future tutorials. Thank you for liking this video, subscribe to my channel to support my work and help me produce more content to help you back with your projects. Enjoy!